Sanctuary has been here for 29 years now. Um, originally, Lynn set it up with the idea of helping cats. She, she obviously was always an animal lover and started in, in her previous home just sort of rescuing the odd animal and it got, it got very big very quickly. Um, over the years, there's been everything from 30 foot snakes to we had a, a lynx in once who's a big cat about, well, I suppose the size of a calf. And we would be on third generation families now coming back whose grandparents got dogs here nearly 30 years ago. We see quite a lot of foxes, you know, coming and going. Ruby came into us, um, she was about four or five days old when she came in. Um, she was found lying beside her mother's body, was dead on the road. We believe the mother was probably transporting the cubs to a safer den and was hit by a car. Um, so obviously mom was dead, Ruby was still alive, so Lynn brought her downstairs and hand reared her. And um, she's completely tame and thinks Lynn is her mother and um, behaves more like a person than a fox should really, but um, she's quite a character. She has her favourite things, as Lynn said, snowballs, which are not very good for her, um, and eggs and things like that, and she tends to bury her food. But unfortunately, she'll unearth it about a month later when it smells pretty horrendous. If you've been here and you've been handling the fox and then you'll go into town or something on your way home, people will start giving you a very wide berth and it takes you a few minutes to realise it's really strong smell of fox. Cockatoo Chucky, he's a Moluccan cockatoo. They come from Indonesia. Um, he's an endangered species. Um, it's covered by a thing called CITES, which is the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. That's the science bit. <coughs> he's about 25 now. Um, he's come and gone from us twice because he was stolen once and he appeared on Sky News, there was a ransom demand for him and Lynn paid an incredible amount of money to get him back from up north over the border. <laughs> Strangely enough, last week we had a very strange occurrence because a woman came into us and she walked into the sanctuary and she was looking at the cockatoo and she says, can I just ask you about the cockatoo? And I was like, certainly, his name is Chucky. She goes, how old is he? And I said, he's 25. And she says, and you got him from the parrot rescue? And I said, yes. And she burst into tears. She was Chucky's original owner. So after 21 years, she started calling him by his original name, which was Elton. And he stopped doing what he was doing and walked over to her and started behaving completely differently to anything I've ever seen him behave. And she had little tricks that he still remembered from 21 years ago. He'll probably live to be about 70 or 80, so they do have a, a good brain and plenty of memory. And um, All of the parrots would be very long-lived. African greys are the longest, we've had a few of them, and they live about 100 years. Um, so it's a big commitment with a parrot, you know. And as you've probably seen from the damage that Chucky does to his aviary, they're quite hard work, you know, and they need continuous attention. They need to be busy all of the time. Um, 